Dave O'Johnson hasn't raced the TT since 2019. Missed last year due to injury, now he's back. Dean Harrison, aggressive on the throttle, and pins it off the line, away he goes. Paul Jordan, with a strong start off the line on his Yamaha R6. Another R6 rider, Jamie Coward, setting off. Four laps, remember, one pit stop in the middle. And there's James Hillier, Dean Harris's teammate. Now this man, Michael Dunlop, won both the Super Sport races last year, 2022. He's fastest in three of the four solo categories, and he was fastest in this category, Cameron, wasn't he? Yeah, he certainly was, but times were tight. Only 2.9 seconds separating the top three in qualifying. So we are down already at Braddon Bridge as we see Davy Todd leaving the line on the Malenko by Paget's Honda. So at this point, Cam, yeah, everybody's got full fuel tanks, coldish tyres as we see Peter Hickman. It's got to be a race favourite again. Harrison, Hickman and uh, Dunlop were the three podium finishes in both Super Sport races last yeah. time out. Yeah, but they were, and they're, they're, the, they're, the, they're the three we'll be watching closely. On board with Hickman now as he goes over St Ninian's Crossroads and down Bray Hill. Andrew, you can't imagine how hard the heart is racing on your first race lap of the TT, heading down Bray Hill. Look at that camera view. It's something I've never seen before. It gives an incredible perspective of the course as it's rushing ahead right alongside the front wheel of that Triumph. Hickman breaking down to Quarter Bridge. Meanwhile, out front, this is Dave O'Johnson in the background. Dean Harrison catching him as they go flat out through Gorsley. Where's Harrison going to pass best down here, Cam? Well, anywhere he can. We know how fast Dean is in the first sector of the TT lap. He's going to want to capitalise on that. But as we head down towards Glen Helen, it's very difficult to pass. Harrison, 135.666 miles per hour at that point. So Hickman's on his own prepared biker as well. This is a PHR Triumph. Love the fact he runs with FHO, of course, in the BMW when he's on the superbike, but still wants to run his own bike in the other categories. Brilliant. Coming in then to the end of the first lap, Michael Dunlop leads at the moment. It's Dean Harrison, though, who is first on the road. And this is Dean Harrison on his first flyer down Bray Hill, of course, this time over the start finish line, flat out and onto the lap. And uh, on board with Davo Johnson, he is now being passed by Jamie Coward, getting a toe down uh, across the Ninians. On board with Davo Johnson, now it is Michael Dunlop catching him. Dunlop tucked in, look, pulled straight out from the slipstream and just blast past. So he is still on a big push. Yeah, one Honda passes another, but Michael's certainly carrying more speed on his. So the gap look at the uh, end of the first lap was 5.4 seconds. That's very much not game over at 5.4. Harrison might have seen a pit board out on course, which will give him an idea of what the gap is. Three laps to go, anything can happen. Course Lee, the commitment through there, Davey Todd. And here is Dunlop again. Tell you what, Jamie Coward's done a very good job of hanging on to the back of Michael Dunlop. This is a sensational effort by Jamie, a rider that seems to be improving each year at the TT. So Dunlop slaps the visor down as he exits pit lane. This man Harrison is first on the road, but as you can see, he's 13.4 seconds back at the midway point in this race. Cam, he's, he's not going to give up yet, but uh, if if, he conti if Dunlop continues to edge the lead out in the same manner over these next couple of laps, well, he's going to be P2. Yep, he is at this stage, but there's a long way to go. Here is Dunlop. Oh, the attitude on it. Andrew, just look at how much more road. Michael's using a couple more feet on the way in, a couple more feet on the way out. How much more risk is that? The course is dirty. He's off the favoured line, that's for sure. There's nowhere near as much rubber on the line that he chooses. Still these three together. How much of a distraction is this? Could both help or hinder, but they look to be going a similar pace. They'd have to have a huge amount of trust in each other, Andrew, to ride so closely, though, around the TT course. Harrison is lit, isn't he? We know he's just taken a bit back, but it looks like, yeah, so look, yeah, Harrison, 1.2 from the grandstand to uh, Balaf Bridge. Just goes to show how these riders are still pushing so, so hard in this second half of the Supersport TT. Absolutely. On board, Pete Hickman. What a great camera view. Oh, look at a gaggle of bikes. Hillier, Jordan, 
Pete Hickman now has also made his way past Davo Johnson. Hickman then chased him down, but at the minute it is Michael Dunlop who leads from Dean Harrison. So just three quarters of a lap to go for this man, Michael Dunlop. He still continues to push into Balacrane. And all the road on the exit there, Cameron, he's still taking risks. Hickman is flying as well. Split times are showing he's, he's up his game. Yeah, he's really coming on strong. It's starting to wonder, are we going to see a carbon copy of last year's Super Sport Race 1? Or will Pete Hickman be able to catch Dean Harrison? Yeah, Harrison, Hickman and Dunlop have been on the podium, haven't they? They shared the podiums last year. Dunlop won both races. Harrison and Hickman had a P2 and a P3 each. These guys are just the benchmark in this category at the minute. They certainly are. They're the three to beat, three different brands of motorcycle, two different brands of tyre. What an interesting combination. Dunlop, you can hear there, just spinning up a little bit on the exit of Glen Helen. He continues, continues to push. Harrison down to Balaf Bridge. See, uh, at the top there, we've got sector times coming to us. That's actually total race time, so that's going to give us the leaderboard. We know that Hickman is applying some pressure to Harrison. He won't necessarily know that yet. It's hard on the pit board to be telling him, you know, every single split. No, but he'll get, he'll get an idea from the pit boards he receives. He'll know that that gap's closing. There it is again from Dunlop. Late on the brakes, landing on the nose. And here's Hickman, tucked right in, pushing really hard. He does unbelievably well, considering he's a, he's a tall rider, and on that smaller Super Sport machine, he still manages to tuck in beautifully. He's only 2.3 back. Hickman is only 2.3 seconds back from Harrison. He's chasing, and here is Harrison. He's still pushing hard as well, so can Hickman get him before the end of the lap? He's got a third of a lap, half a lap to go, roughly. We've got a race on our hands. We know how strong Pete Hickman finishes a race. He's very good towards the late stages of any race, be it four or six laps. He's going to have to have a good run over the mountain, and that's also where Pete is his strongest. Yeah, Harrison's definitely not hanging about. Look, Dunlop 1.7 down on, on this lap. That's grandstand to Ramsey Hairpin, but he can be because he knows he's got a bunch in hand. So he's going to look after the bike a little bit on this last lap, whereas Pete Hickman, he's not looking after the bike. He's looking at the timesheets. Well, yeah, not literally, but the flies there on the front of Harrison's bike give you an idea of why they change a visor and, and a tear off as often as they do. Beautiful weather, but still uh, the occasional visibility issue at these speeds. Yep, there certainly is. We see Pete winding his way up the mountain, tucked in on that triumph. He's pushing so hard. Dean Harrison doing the same. He's not going to go for a lap record this lap. He's just going to play it safe, be kind to the motorcycle and try to bring it home in P1. 15.2 seconds up the road for him. Where is Hickman? How much pressure is Harrison under with just a few miles to go to the finish? Here is Peter Hickman now. Pitches it into Bungalow. Where's the gap? What's the gap? 15.2 is to the leader, but what is it now between Hickman? Oh, it's 0.1 of a second. He's absolutely on him. He's bang on him. Dunlop comes up now to signpost as Harrison crosses the line. He'll know he hasn't won, but has he got P2 or P3? Michael Dunlop going to take his 22nd TT win here. An opening win at the start of the 2023 TT, eight solo races. How many of them can he win? He's very much the four man here. So now it just remains whether or not Hickman can nick that position from Harrison. And the timing screen says he does. Hickman gets P2. Confirmation of the result then. Michael Dunlop wins the Supersport TT race one with Peter Hickman and Dean Harrison on the podium.